Centuries ago, this corner of St. Charles Parish was home to Louisiana native tribes who found these lush wetlands at the edge of Lake Pontchartrain to be fertile ground for their tribes to thrive. Today, a new and younger generation of Louisianians, known around the country as the Wetland Watchers, are once again discovering the beauty and value of this fragile ecosystem. It's good, good predictions. We're going to see what happens when you're all done with it. Well, my name is Barry Gilead. I'm a teacher at Hearst Middle School. And we started a service learning program called the LaBranch Wetland Watchers about 11 years ago. And we used to come out here and do water quality tests and pick up trash. And about uh, maybe about six, seven years ago, the Pontchartrain Levy Board donated all the land we were working on, plus more, so we had 28 acres of land out here donated to the parish in our name, uh, all 100% for education, restoration, and recreation. So we have big plans for this park. Uh, Mr. Milton Com is responsible for reclaiming two and a half acres of land right here, all the way up to the 1976 shoreline. And all this is going to be used for a public park. We're going to have huge pavilions. We just got $200,000 from uh, the governor. And we're going to have a big pavilion. We have sh picnic shelters out here, benches for people to fish off of, all kinds of great stuff out here. And then further back in the woods, we're uh, building uh, nature trails. We're going to have boardwalk nature trails that people will be able to go in wheelchairs, canes, baby strollers, be able to go through three quarters of a mile of nature trails. All the way in the back, we'll have a 10-foot marsh overlook. We'll have education stuff going on all the time out here. So I'm real excited about it. I've always said it's so beautiful. And the nearest place we can go to get to a public nature trail is John Lafitte National Park, which is an awesome facility. But we have so much to share here in St. Charles Parish. You know, we really need to have something like this out here. The Harry Harris Program is one of the state's 40 Learn and Serve programs, which combines education with community service. The Wetland Watchers have been recognized nationally and serve as a model program for St. Charles Parish and the state. Hi, I'm Denise Dowell. I'm Program Officer for the Louisiana Serve Commission's Learn and Serve Program. We administer the Learn and Serve Program for the K-12 public schools in Louisiana. The LaBranche Wetland Watchers Program is just an example of some of the 40 programs we have throughout the state. We're very proud to award programs based upon um, academic and community service uh, project connections where we have learning and service connected to fulfill community needs and also enhance the uh, academic studies of students. So we're very proud to be here today. We know that the LaBranche Wetland Watcher students have been very active over the past years in, um, in preserving this spot and making people aware of the coastal erosion problem that we face here in South Louisiana. And uh, we look forward to our future partnerships with um, LaBranche Wetland Watchers on these projects to build the interpretive trails for this wonderful Wetland Watchers Park. And uh, we wholeheartedly endorse what the, the projects that Barry's doing and his support that he receives from the community partners. And without the community partners, we certainly could not do these types of projects. <laughs> on this day, community partners from business to education and government to nonprofits came together to make a difference. You know, uh, projects like, like the Wetland Watchers are only successful because there's so much community support. I mean, we have so much industry here in St. Charles Parish, and when you have, you know, people like Motiva and Dow, Monsanto, Valero and Shell all pitching in, everybody wants to be a part of what we're doing out here, it can't help but be successful. Today is National Make a Difference Day in the United States, and millions of people are out volunteering trying to do something good for their community to make a difference. They, they want to be a part of something that really makes a difference and, and enhances their community and make it better for everybody else. And you know we've been, uh, we've been working on this Wetland Watchers Park for quite a while and industry has donated uh, money, funds for us to try and get some of this stuff going with the nature trails and all that. And I just thought National Make a Difference Day was such a perfect day for us to start, drive the first post on this nature trail and you know just really try and get something substantial built that people can see and people be able to come out and that's going to help people imagine a little more what we're going to have out here in the future you know it's nothing that we can do just by ourselves i can't imagine how much it would cost if you're paying somebody to come and do all this so i mean the volunteers are definitely making a difference in st charles parish today and we're part of the americorps team from shreveport louisiana and we're coming out here to partner with learn and serve and 
RSVP and all the local volunteers to really make this wetland park become a success. We understand what it is to have wetlands lost in South Louisiana. We've been studying about it. We've been trying to educate our citizens about it. And we see it as an opportunity to bring our young adults from Freeport down here so they can learn about the wetlands of South Louisiana. They can do some things to improve the wetlands of South Louisiana, but they can work with other citizens. It's more like a culture exchange. And we got North and South Louisiana coming together. We're one state and we're just Glad to be down here to be able to help out and make a difference and work with the students from Hearst Middle School and work with Barry and all of the parish and, and, and residents of St. Charles Parish that's coming together to make a difference, to make this area and try and restore this lake to what it once was. And, and it's a beautiful lake. Lake Pontchartrain and the entire area is just a beautiful area and we're just part, glad to be a part of it. I brought eight AmeriCorps members with me. They're all high school and college students that are serving AmeriCorps term and they're learning about it. They're, this is their first term. They've never worked on a wetlands project they've never built bridges and trails but they're learning it's a very very good educational opportunity for them yeah hi i'm kenny gidry assistant superintendent of st charles parish parks and recreation we came out here to help uh, the wetland watchers develop a nature trail into the marsh going back to the ridge which follows along uh, bayou trepanier and what we done was we helped them bring sand in to make their nature trail so they wouldn't be in a marsh I had uh, about 10 or 12 of my employees from the Recreation Department back here helping. We cleared it all out and uh, laid a whole bunch of sand going to the back so they could start building their nature trail. With the Wetland Watchers and Harry Hurst School, we got together to design a, the trail that'll be a wooden deck all the way to a ridge in the back along the interstate through the, the Palmettas that's supposedly anywhere from five to seven hundred years old. Saving our wetlands has been an issue for decades and the wetland watchers are proving this important cause spans the generations. Uh, my name is Milton Calm. I've been involved um, in coastal erosion in this project for almost 40 years now. So uh, I teamed up with Barry, or Barry teamed up with me, whatever, <laughs> about uh, a dozen years ago. and. Uh, we saw a problem with erosion and we started addressing it and then so it has come to, to where we can actually build a park. So we've reclaimed some of the land and now uh, Pontchartrain Levy District has you know, give, donated 28 acres for a park. So now we're in the progress, the process of uh, developing this to a, to a park that, that uh, St. Charles Parish can be really proud of. My name is Layla Calm and I'm Milton Calm's granddaughter. I've been with this project since I was a baby. I would come out here and walk in the swamp with my grandpa and when I got to Hurst Middle School, Mr. Gilead took me under his wing and I'm just grateful to have him and I'm a service learning student and I want to take this for the rest of my life and for my future and take the footsteps of my grandfather. Here, the young and the young at heart work together to get this initial phase of the park completed. My name is Faye Kerr. I'm the director of the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program of the River Parishes. Today we have 12 of our senior citizens that are giving back to their community because they, they care about their community. They want to be involved in restoring this wetlands. We think it's a great opportunity for them. It's the first time, I think, that all three service corps, the AmeriCorps, the Learn and Serve, and the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program have gotten together to work on a project, and it's a, a tremendous project. They, our volunteers are feeding them breakfast and lunch. They're out there hammering and sawing and uh, helping with the project, and we're just really excited to be here. The Wetland Watchers are passionate about the work they are doing, and when the students are involved, parents soon follow. Yes, my kids were both Wetland Watchers for, with, with Barry, and uh, they, they really enjoyed it. We came on a field trips and stuff before with them. I work for Dow, and, and they ask for volunteers, and um, I always volunteer for the wetlands. I've been volunteering for, i say, 12, 13 years now. Through the centuries, this corner of St. Charles Parish has been a thriving habitat for nature and wildlife. And now, the wetland watchers of today share the love of the land with their native ancestors. And soon, this park and education center will share that same appreciation with the world. To learn more about how this special program is bridging our community together, 
log on to wetlandwatchers.org.